Good evening. You're uh, on East Tennessee Skywatch and Appalachian Highlands Weather. I'm Skylar Doyle alongside Eli Bray here to give you a quick update on tonight's winter weather setup as some as snow is going to actually be heading into the region here. Uh, some heavy snow is possible along with even some thunder snow tonight. Right now as we're looking at the current radar, we are looking at some heavier snow bands back, toward, back in between Clarksville and Nashville just to the west of us and snow will be moving in later tonight. So as we uh, also zoom in here on the local radar a little bit, Eli, I will let you talk about some of the showers that we currently have going on with a few rumbles of thunder. We've had some popcorn showers or thunderstorms, as we call them, uh, begin to pop up across portions of East Tennessee and Southwest Virginia, also along uh, the mountains in uh, West Virginia as well. We have had some lightning out of the east, especially if you're up the, towards Lebanon, Virginia. We have had some a uh, little bit of lightning out of these, and I believe we had one strike in Morristown as well. This is just a little precursor to the event here that uh, we're expecting. Uh, there is the possibility for thunder snow this evening with snowfall rates up to one to two inches an hour across the area area wide. And what we're going to do here is we are going to. I'm taking you back now to the Nashville radar. As, and I'll switch it to our winter weather mode here. As we're watching the heavy snow bands develop here just west of Nashville, some heavy snow ongoing from Dixon up to Springfield to Clarksville, and the heavy snow bands are going to be pushing into the Nashville area and this will continue to lift east toward our area over night tonight. And we could be looking at as well some gusty winds. So let's take a look at the current alerts that we have for you. Uh, winter weather advisories for the in far eastern areas of Smith County, Ashe County, Watauga County, North Carolina, and but the whole rest of the area right now in a winter storm warning with some um, heavy snowfall amounts possible. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's look at the future radar quickly. Uh, 1 a.m. here we'll have the rain snow line from the Virginia-Kentucky border down through some of our plateau counties getting close to the Knoxville area toward Oak Ridge and even getting close to the Chattanooga metropolitan area. And then as we go into 3 a.m., most of the region, all the Southern Valley, the Central Valley, with snow. Far eastern Tennessee, uh, far northeast Tennessee, maybe parts of Sullivan, Washington, Johnson counties, up into some adjacent counties of Virginia. Might not be fully snowed yet, but by 5 a.m. here, that's what we're showing you now. We expect all snow throughout our region with severe weather down to our southeast into the eastern parts of the Carolinas. So, uh, Eli, do you want to talk about snow totals here a little bit? Yeah, so we uh, could see anything from southeast Tennessee an inch to seven inches across the valley, basically. Um, in the Tri-Cities, we're expecting about three to five inches with locally higher totals, possibly up to seven inches. In that, uh, seven inches. Uh, Knoxville, I'm going to go with uh, three to five as well, uh, maybe two to four. And uh, down into the uh, Chattanooga Lower Valley, uh, I believe we could see... Uh, uh, two to four inches as well. So, uh, go ahead. As, as we go back to the winter storm alert, winter weather alerts is kind of what is being represented. The higher amounts, where we're seeing the higher amounts, that is where the pink area is. That's our winter storm warning. And then as you get east, kind of into the far eastern portions of our area, that's where that winter weather advisory is, where you could see maybe some slightly lower amounts. Right. Uh, another thing that uh, I want to stress is we could see a not-so-common phenomena uh, tonight and early tomorrow morning called thunder snow. Yes, there is a possibility of it, uh, especially with these uh, bands that will produce higher snowfall rates of uh, around two inches an hour. Uh, if you live near Kingsport in uh, northeast Tennessee, if you recall, about two years ago in 2020, we had a snow squall move through, and it produced thunder snow on Bays Mountain. And it is a surreal experience. I was there. I got to experience it. I wasn't able to catch it on video, but uh, it was something. So, yes, we could um, see that happen. Now, I want you all to understand that if there is thunder snow, this same rule applies when thunder roars go indoors with any regular thunderstorm. Uh, if you have thunder tonight with the snow, you need to go indoors. You do not need to be standing out in the middle of the snow. That is uh, something that we do not stress again uh, because lightning behaves the same way, whether it be in thunder snow or just a regular thunderstorm. 
even though it might be cool to go out and, you know, say you've been out in thunder snow, we don't encourage you to do that because that could be a a life-threatening situation of lightning strikes, wind to lightning strikes. That could be a life-threatening. And as I've got the future radar up for about 5 a.m. tomorrow, it's showing the whole region with some heavy snow, especially in the darker blue areas. That's where you can see the heavier snow. And even some of that thunder snow could be experienced region-wide as we go in to early tomorrow morning, uh, closer. Probably, I would say, the best chance for that anywhere between 2 a.m. and about 8 a.m. before some of the heavier snow does slack off from our region. And uh, kind of starts to go into maybe more of a northwest flow event as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Which northwest flow events uh, can produce possibly in our mountain counties uh, up to maybe even another inch of snow on the northwestern plate. Even in the uh, valley as well in, in uh, Kingsport. You could, if you do get a stronger squall, you could see maybe another half inch to an inch. And th- that we have incorporated that into some of our snowfall totals. But I want to remind you that m- the major event is tonight. And we encourage you not to travel early tomorrow morning, probably before 10, 11 o'clock, across the entire region. If you're in southwest Virginia, eastern Kentucky, uh, western North Carolina, or any of East Tennessee, just we encourage you to kind of stay indoors tomorrow morning. We know it's a Saturday and a lot of people probably want to get out, but wait until the afternoon hours. Wait for those road crews to work uh, a little bit on the roads. And there's another thing that I do want to stress. Blizzard uh, conditions are possible. I'm not saying that we are going to have a blizzard. But blizzard-like conditions are going to be possible. We're going to have winds around 40 miles an hour, and we could see visibility reduced. So that is one thing that we're going to keep an eye on. So you do not need to be on the roads at all tomorrow. No, tomorrow will be a very dangerous day to be out on the road. So just stay indoors and have a fun day, watch some basketball or watch a movie or something in tomorrow. So we will make sure to stay on top of this for you here at East Tennessee Skywatch and Appalachian Highlands Weather. And uh, we'll have updates throughout the night as needed back here live on our Facebook pages. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, Eli, any final comments? For Skylar Dole, I'm Eli Bray. For East Tennessee Skywatch and Appalachian Holland's Weather.